If you own a one wheel, chances are your life is plagued with first world problems. I'm here to help with 10 one wheel life hacks. If you've ever transported a one wheel in the trunk of your car, then you know it rolls around like it's possessed, thumping and bumping like a dead body rolling in the back of your car. In addition, the hard edges and rough grip tape, it can wreak havoc on the interior of your car. The solution? There are various car stands on the market, all of which are quite expensive. But for just a few dollars and a little bit of elbow grease, you can make an inexpensive one-wheel carrier with a milk crate, a cutting tool, and a permanent marker. In this case, I started off using a handsaw. It took a while, and it was kind of clumsy. And so I was looking for a more efficient solution. My chainsaw, perhaps? I thought this might be a little too much and opted for a little smaller saw. And this did the trick. This is a cheap, effective way to carry your one wheel along with some gear. I like to keep a one wheel lock and a charger in the crate. My helmet I attach to the side of the crate with my gloves stuffed inside my helmet. It's a nice, easy solution. And now I never have to worry about my one wheel rolling around in my trunk again. I've made a previous video on using painter's tape and duct tape to protect your rails. It's a temporary fix and you can go check that video out. Here I'm replacing some tape used by mountain bikers to protect their bikes from scratching. I'm pleased with the results and it wasn't very expensive. I'll have links down below in the description. It protected the rails from most scratches and dings after about 100 miles of use by me and my family. The best solution would be some sort of sidekick or rail guard. However, if you don't want to spend the money on that or you're waiting for your sidekicks to ship, a cheap and easy solution is to use some sort of durable tape cover like I'm doing here. The charge port and the power button are vulnerable spots that provide entry for dirt, sand, mud, and water on the Pint and the XR. There are plugs made specifically to help protect these areas, but if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to protect your charge port and you don't have a plug, a little duct tape MacGyver hack will do the trick. Ever find yourself in situations where you can't ride your one wheel either because it's not allowed or because you're out of batteries? Would carrying it be too uncomfortable for long distances? Well then try this, it's called the one wheel thong or the one wheel leash. It comes from Vache and his channel, I'll have a link down below. Basically, just like the name implies, it's a leash that you use to walk around your dog. You do a couple simple knots, you put it on your XR or your Plus and you're able to walk it around. I tried this on my pint, however, the rounded contour of the wheel made the setup too unstable, and the pint just kept rolling over. With practice, as you can see, I was able to kind of get the hang of walking around my one wheel. This could be a pretty effective way to move your one wheel if you have to go long distances. Just be prepared to take breaks at every fire hydrant. Have you ever tried to mount your one wheel only to find out that it wasn't turned on correctly or it wasn't even on in the first place? In these cases, you end up flailing forward. It's embarrassing. To prevent that, do a little kickstart before you get on. Give your one wheel a little nudge. If it rolls freely, it's not on correctly. 
turn it off, turn it back on, give it a little nudge. If there's resistance, then you're good to go. We all get sweaty and dirty when off-roading with the one wheel, and especially when we go camping. A quick way to feel as refreshed and as newly cleaned as a baby's bottom is to use baby wipes. We keep baby wipes with us when we go car camping. Another tip for keeping your one wheel safe while camping is to keep the one wheel in a tent or car when not in use. Also consider locking it up when you have to leave it out. If you follow my channel, then you know that I like to focus on safety and security. Few things kill the fun and enjoyment of riding quicker than a bad injury or having your one wheel stolen. Another thing that can ruin your day is getting hacked. So much of what I do for my YouTube channel and my blog depends on my accessibility to the internet. Getting hacked sucks. And the other day, I was alerted. Someone was trying to get access into my account from South Korea. Imagine someone hacking into your account, email, social media, or banking. It would be a nightmare. And so since then, for added security and ease of organizing my logins and password, I've been using a product called Dashlane. Dashlane makes password management easy and secure. It organizes my passwords and offers to strengthen my weak passwords. Dashlane also makes it safe and easy to share passwords with family and friends. It has a built-in VPN so that I can protect myself while using public Wi-Fi when I'm on the go with my electric rideables. I love how I get a password manager and a VPN all with Dashlane. Another reason I like Dashlane is it syncs across all my devices and platforms, Apple, Android, PC. Try Dashlane Premium for 30 days by clicking on my link below, and then get 10% off Dashlane Premium if you decide to upgrade using my code, Jimmy Chang. There's nothing like the feeling of fresh grip tape under your feet while you ride. It gives you confidence, it gives you control. Restore that fresh, grippy feeling by giving your grip tape a good cleaning. The Future Motion Grip Tape Cleaners tend to be pretty expensive. You can get something similar on Amazon. It works just as well and for a fraction of the price. They're rubber sticks meant to clean sandpaper on belt sanders. And while we're on the topic of cleaning, little rocks and dirt love to stick on the one wheel tire. Keep that mess from tracking into the house by cleaning it with a push broom. Just lay the push broom on the floor bristle side up, then with your one wheel on, engage the sensors and briefly hold it over the broom as the wheel spins. It usually only takes a second or two to clean the tire using this method. If you don't have a fender, consider wearing safety glasses as debris may fly into your face. One wheel stands are nice, but they are expensive. If you're looking for a cheaper solution, I found this guitar stand. It's solid and it's also adjustable and relatively inexpensive. I can fold it to the size of my XR or my Pint. If I'm looking for an even cheaper solution, I just use this. It's a floor mat with some cardboard and I lean my one wheel up against the wall. It's not the most elegant, but it works and it's cheap. Future Motion provides us with a pack of business cards with every new one wheel. I've purchased three used one wheels and all of them came with all the business cards, so I'm pretty sure no one ever uses them. Well, I have a use for them now. Recently, at a parade that I went to for my son's marching band, I wrote my YouTube channel on all the business cards, and I handed them out when people wanted to talk about the one wheel. You can do the same to promote your YouTube channel or Instagram account. If you don't have a YouTube channel or Instagram account that you want to promote, then use the corner of the business cards to clean your fingernails or to clean your teeth when you don't have a toothpick handy. They're also great for stabilizing teetering tables or chairs. Those are my 10 one-wheel life hacks. I hope you find them helpful. 
help me out by giving this video a like and share it with a friend. If you have a favorite one wheel life hack that makes your life better, share them below in the comments. If I find something that I think is rad, I'll include it in a future video. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch till the end. Please ride responsibly and as always, be sure to wear your safety gear.